Hello, we are discussing about gate 1990 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electron devices. This is second 5 mark question, came in gate 1990. In a semiconductor at room temperature, the intrinsic carrier concentration and resistivity are 1.5 into 10 power 16 per meter cube and 2 into 10 power 5 ohm meters respectively. It is converted into an extrinsic semiconductor with a doping concentration of 10 power 20 per meter cube. For the extrinsic semiconductor, calculate A. Minority carrier concentration B. Resistivity C. Shift in Fermi level due to doping D. Minority carrier concentration when its temperature is increased to a value at which the intrinsic carrier concentration doubles. Assume the mobility of minority and majority carriers to be same and Vt is 26 milli electron volts at room temperature. Given intrinsic semiconductor, it has been converted into extrinsic semiconductor with doping of 10 power 20 per meter cube. After converted into extrinsic semiconductor, calculate minority carriers, resistivity, shift in Fermi level as well as minority carriers for a temperature where the intrinsic carrier concentration doubled. We will see the details now. Given that at room temperature, Ni intrinsic carrier concentration is given as 1.5 into 10 power 16 per meter cube and intrinsic resistivity is given as 2 into 10 power 5 ohm meters and mobility of hole and electrons are same that is mu n is equal to mu p. This intrinsic semiconductor is converted into extrinsic semiconductor by adding doping concentration of 10 power 20 per meter cube. So doping concentration is 10 power 20 per meter cube. <coughs> Whether the doping concentration is acceptors or donors, it has not given so that we cannot say whether it is n type or p type. So that we are going with assumption that assume n type semiconductor. So for n type semiconductor, the doping concentration is treated as nd, which is nothing but number of electrons in n type approximately. So nd can be treated as 10 power 20 per meter cube now doping concentration can be now treated as nd donor concentration in case of n type semiconductor first we need to calculate minority carrier concentration minority carrier concentration is always calculated from mass action law mass action law states that under thermal equilibrium the product of total electron charge and total hole charge must be equal to square of intrinsic carrier concentration which is constant for the given temperature. So n into p is equal to n i square is nothing but mass action law. In case of n type semiconductor it can be written as n n into p n is equal to n i square from that one you can write p n is equal to n i square by n n n i square by n d so that the minority carriers in n type that is holes in n type are going to be equal to 2.25 into 10 power 12 per meter cube this is the first one next resistivity of extrinsic semiconductor resistivity of n type that is nothing but reciprocal of conductivity of n type which is 1 by n n into q into mu n n n can be replaced as n d so 1 by nd into q into mu n that is what resistivity and we know the equation we know this one nd we know and q also we know mu n is also mu n is we don't know because mu n is going to be equal to mu p it was given but the value of mu n is not specified by that time mu n can be calculated in this way given intrinsic resistivity is 2 into 10 power 5 from that one it is nothing but reciprocal of intrinsic conductivity intrinsic conductivity is nothing but ni into q into mu n plus mu p 
whereas mu n is equal to mu p so that you can write it as 2 times of mu n from that one mu n is equal to 1 by rho i into 2 into n i into q if you substitute all these values at that time mu n is nothing but 0 0.001 meter square per volt second this is the electron mobility which is same as hole mobility in this problem and substitute mu n in this rho n equation so that nd value is known that is 10 power 20 q is nothing but 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 and mu n is 0 0.001 so rho n is equal to 60 ohm meters so resistivity of n type after converting it into action 6 semiconductor is 60 ohm meters third one we need to calculate shift in fermi level with respect to intrinsic fermi level so the equation for this one is EFN minus EFI is equal to EFN implies nothing but Fermi level of N type semiconductor EFI is nothing but intrinsic Fermi level the difference between this one is nothing but relative shift in Fermi level with respect to intrinsic Fermi level so this can be written as KT natural logarithm of ND by NI where nd is 10 power 20 and ni is 1.5 into 10 power 16 kt is given as 0 0.026 so this is equal to 0 0.228 electron volts the meaning of this one is n type fermi level is moves above by 0 0.228 electron volts compared to intrinsic fermi level now the fermi level of n type is higher than 0 0.228 electron volts compared to intrinsic fermi level the last one given that one a temperature is going to be increases such that the intrinsic carrier concentration gets doubled so that the intrinsic carrier concentration new value is two times of previous that is previous value is 1.5 into 10 power 12 now it will become 3 into 10 power 12 but to calculate minority carriers always we will use the mass action law only so minority carriers that is holes in n type is equal to ni of new value whole square divided by nd ni new value is 3 into 10 power 16 whole square divided by 10 power 20 so it is equal to 9 into 10 power 12 per meter cube so whenever temperature increases ni is going to be increases if ni doubled at that time minority carriers also doubled because ni is nothing but more number of coal and bonds are broken that is nothing but number of whole electron pairs increases which implies nothing but minority carriers are going to be increases majority carriers are not much increased because they themselves is going to be very large in number so this is the answer for the question asked in gate 1990 second 5 mark question thank you